Welcome to Trading Lounge and the daily US stocks for Friday, July 8. It appears that we are going to be bullish, at least for the short term as well, um, because if we look at the NASDAQ here, we were looking at this as a wave one here with a possible wave two here. And then we were looking at this with wave one here coming back for wave two over here. Uh, put wave two over here somewhere at the 50-60% retracement level, but we've moved through that. So we can put wave two over here for that. And we can also treat this as wave four over here as well. So either a two or a four. But at the same time, we also need to look at um, a possible low being in place <clears throat> here, okay? So about this particular low and about this wave two here and about this wave four here, um, as I have sort of mentioned a little while ago, if we can get in this case here, this either two or four here will be um, a little bit odd, but we'll be looking for five waves up here. I'll talk about this more in the US videos, but once we get those five waves here, then we'll look for, because after five waves it's going to turn anyway, and then we can look for the um, the B wave high here to go long at at that point. Now day traders can certainly move up here further and we'll look at that in the US indices. Um, on, the, um, on the bullish side for this, this was a count that I had a long time ago. Um, it was a little bit of a long shot because wave one up there was really quite small, but it, it seemed to fit okay with everything as one and two and one and two and one and two and then extending out into three, four, five for the third, the fourth, one, two, three, four, five for the third, an A and a B and a C for the fourth here and then down for the fifth wave here. So get from wave B down to putting this as wave C over here for wave five here, that was all sort of doable at that particular point. But there was stocks that were telling me that we needed to go down further. So I've been trying to figure out this low here and you know in hindsight everything is is easy um but in the in the process of everything we have to take the next logical step with everything so um the next step here <coughs> at this stage is that well um before calling the low in here we really need to you know move past any corrective pattern that could be an a b c for wave two or an a b c for wave four here and we can do that by having five waves up here and then three waves back and then taking that top out. So we can do that. Um, I'll move on to the stocks. And a lot of the stocks we're looking at wave four up here as well. So let's do that. And we'll talk about uh, intraday trading on the indices in that particular video. With Apple yesterday, we looked at Apple like this here with from the top over here um, with uh, you know wave A, B and C here. And I harped on about this being corrective here. So the big bear market that um, ElliottWave.com had, it, I just couldn't see that sort of happening because of this. And I see that with Tesla and Microsoft and probably some others, I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, yeah, but anyway, that was something that we harped on about. So this here, we were looking yesterday at this being an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. And the same thing applies here as well. What we need to do is we need to, we'll just make this simple, we need to get five waves up here, wherever that's going to be, and we'll look at that in a moment, and then get the ABC pattern at that point. This is really for you know trend traders as such, and if there is a low in place, well then we'll just go long above that point there, and off we go. But we do need that to, as I've been mentioning, to finish off uh, in that space. And also too, if the this 150 here becomes a classic trading levels pattern of support basically, well that will also um, edge it to the upside. Um, let's just go into, was it a thousand ticks or 100? We'll just check it out anyway. So yeah, so here we go. So in this case, we're looking at the A, which could be wave one, you know, that's the other thing about all of that. Um, so we'll just allow that to be, but uh, wave wave B here and then wave C up here. So 
Um, I was look, we're looking at this. I think I've relabeled this into a bigger structure. So this would have been green wave one before. Now it's blue wave one and two. So it's all the same count. I've just cleaned it up a little bit, uh, made it a bit easier to see. And uh, yeah, so one and two here, then one and two, and then all the way up here for the third wave here. So we'll still need the fourth, the fifth, for the third, the fourth, and the fifth to the upside. So there's plenty of room to the to the upside to go for for this, you know. And um, I was just looking at Bitcoin. I know that's a little bit sort of a uh, bit out of. Um, of whack there as well, but our little bullish count that we had for Bitcoin because they're kind of in the same thing. So I'm kind of well, I'm looking at both of them, and once again, it was those five waves here that I was looking for that one, two, three, four, five, and it's moving off quite nicely in that um, uh, in that space. Let's just get a bit more data here. So in this bullish count here for Bitcoin, and I'm also treating this as corrective as well, but as wave one here with an ABC here for wave two, then one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two, and then we're getting that third wave. So what I'm, the reason I'm showing you this for is that because in a trend to the upside here, this would be this third of the third, this is the halfway mark here. So you can see all those days down the bottom here. For this to get to the fifth wave up here, then um, it would probably need the same amount of time because this is the beginning and then this is the middle and then there'll be the end. So it's quite a long time here in all of this. It's just to sort of point out that the move to the upside could be, you know, longer than uh, than we think. So, yeah, so there's, you know, <laughs> there's more to it. There's, you know, this will end up up here somewhere for that. So this could extend up further. That's what I'm sort of saying as well, because they're all, the, they're all, well, I, you know, they're all, I mean, to me, markets are emotional, you know, they, uh, they have a little bit of rationale uh, here and there, but they, um, you know, they all sort of stick together and do all sorts of things. So anyway, that's, uh, that's Apple. So you could, uh, you could continue to trade that long, but you'll be in wave fours and fives going up there further. Uh, NVIDIA, um, NVIDIA, uh, whichever way I look at this, I still think we've got more downside uh, here. So we were looking at this as, because from wave B here, we've got one and two here, then we've got one, two, three, four, five, that's all pretty rosy, and wave four, unless I've made a mistake in here as one and two in here and three, four, five, and finished on this note here, but otherwise one and two and one and two here, but it just doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not going to seem very, it's not going to seem sort of right at this particular point. So there's something that I'm missing here that I can't see. So I apologize about that. Um, but let's just go to 100 ticks and uh, talk about this because it's already in its, you know, we're down here, we counted down one, two, three, four, five, which is cool. And we're looking at an A and a B, and then we've got this here as one, two, three, four here, then one, two, one, two, three, four. Probably we're in here, we're in here somewhere at that 160 to 162. But you'd think that if uh, the other markets were going to push up, well, then this would push up as well, you know, and then we would need to extend the labeling on this. So if this is one, two, three, four, five to here, then we may need to look at this as as one and two here. And then look at this as uh, as as the next one and two in here, and so, sort of look start looking at it in a bullish sort of light, you know. And then that can stay as one and two here, and and so on. But I'm, I'm not sure, you know. I mean, I, I don't want to tell folks to go along in the in in a place where it can, re, you know, at, at you know. There's obviously lots of resistance at this point here, so it's not a good one to go long on. Um, if you've got a classic tra trading levels pattern here, and you could see that, well, then that would be fine at uh, at that point. Uh, but we just need to wait on that one and. 
Amazon was a bit of a typical one here. So we've had wave one, one up here and then one, two, three, four, five for the A, the B and the A, the B and the C wave here for the B wave. It's all pretty sort of rosy at that point. I mean, you could label this a bit differently, but um, that's five waves there. So you've got to look at that as the A, the B and the C um, and then down uh, through here. So we've been looking at this as an ABC in this little space here so we can still get the turn here we're looking for five waves up here so the same thing goes as well we'll look at that a bit closer after those five waves are finished then uh, we can go long above that um, otherwise I'd need if we're if the low is going to be in place of course well then we would need to put wave four here and wave five over here for that and be done with it and look at this as one and two and then one and two here so we'll look at that as we build to the upside but that's what we were looking at um, we can still treat this here as down for one and back for two down for one and back for two but as soon as that top here is breached then that's the end of that as well and it does look like, um, as I mentioned, Bitcoin going up further. So there's going to be that sort of momentum there for uh, for the tech side of things, you know. So over to uh, Amazon here. Yesterday we were looking at this as the A wave, the B wave, and then going up for the C wave here. So it's a little bit of a hickelty pickelty sort of journey to the upside here, and. Uh, could certainly have made mistakes in this little area through here. Mistakes can be made as well, but that's okay for one and two here. One and two, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm pretty okay with all of this, really. Um, and here I was just looking at one and two. Could probably get another one and two out of that point. That's one, two, three, four, five to there. So... Yeah, I could probably get one and two to here, then one, two, three, four. Well, it still takes me to there. That would go to there then, in that case. That would go to here. <clears throat> so we're not there just yet on that. And I'll just remove those. Um, so we've still got further, further to go up here for all of this. And this is our trend line coming through the top. So thereabouts anyway. Um, so up to the 120 is sort of good, but obviously it's going to have a problems in group two here. Um, 11650, 117, 118, that's all of group two there. Um, but like I said, we just got to allow this to play out and then anything after that. So really from this, this, um, this move here to this move here, then after once we get that five waves and really we want to get that five waves for the majority of tech stocks or at least the big ones you know and then anything above that or that then we can be bullish at that point but this is where we need to be uh, careful and, and I know it's quite emotional because when you see it pushing up um, you know it's sort of like Am I miss, I'm missing everything and you get anxious and all these sorts of things. But I just have to say that, you know, the, the markets are always going to be there. They're always going to be up and down. There's always going to be opportunities. So you're better off doing the right thing at the right time. Um, of course, you can short term trade to the upside, but don't go in there thinking that, you know, we're going, it's just going to keep blasting to the upside it's not like it's you know everything's got a beginning a middle and an end and this is the beginning part here and this is the middle in here and we can see that it's struggling a little bit now it's not zooming away is it I mean it did go quite good last night I have to admit but um, it's not showing <clears throat> it's not showing like a third wave or anything at this point we could go wave one here and two here and then wave one and two here. That would be the labeling at that point. No, so it'd be part of a much bigger structure to the upside. So that's that. And um, meta platforms. So <clears throat> this, uh, I've been looking at this in a, a couple of different ways and you probably know that. Um, this is one way to look at it. And in this case here, looking at it as a more of a bearish picture, we know that this is um, <clears throat> oversold and, you know, it's turned into a value stock, uh, but that's not my expertise. Um, my expertise is really just trying to figure out 
if we're in a bullish trend or in a bearish trend. <laughs> it's kind of that simple, really. And uh, at this point, we could have to say, well, we're in a bearish trend, but we're at the end. There's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end. And obviously, the middle is in the middle here, isn't it? You know, the most powerful part. And then this would be the ending part. So it can get a little bit tricky here. So we need to say to ourselves, well, how do we confirm that we've, we're, we have a change in trend, you know? And you need certain boxes for that to be accomplished. And uh, and look, there could be a low in place, and we're going to be sort of looking at, at that. Um, this move down here was in five waves, so that's cool. This one was in three waves. This move here is in three waves. Maybe you could push it to five. Um, as one and two and three and four, but we didn't get the fifth wave down, or do we need to look at that as the third, fourth and fifth and jam it in here? It's sort of like you're going into sort of hope land a little bit, so I, I need to get my teeth into something a little bit more. We've got this other count here, which is um, on the, uh, sorry, on the two day here, so this count here, I kind of like this one. This is down for um, wave A here, then an A, B, C, D, and E here, because they all appear to be in three waves across here, and that would leave us as one and two here, and three and four here, and then we can look at this here, and I'm thinking to myself, uh, because we've got a triangle here, can we get a triangle over here with an A, B, C, D, and E here for wave four and then down for wave five? To fit? That's the only way I can finish it off uh, in my mind at this point in time. You may have something else as well. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, when it comes down to the medium level 150, you'd expect it to bounce. And <coughs> it's doing that. And if it's going to bounce, it's going to be in three waves. And that's what we currently got. We've got that here in in an, well, an A and a B and a C wave here. It could pull back up 61.8% of that top to that bottom, or we could take it up further, we could do all sorts of things with it. But it's the same principle again as well. If we track five waves up here, when they're finished, we can go long above the top, or we can get a better position than that, of course, but you know what I mean. So that's really what we're looking at. We need to get past this A, B and C, whichever way you want to, you know, cook this potato. So this um, this on to I think we're on the 100 tick. So we'll just now that I've said that, let's just go in and have a look at this here and get in a bit more data. Five plenty. So I've got different counts for that. So don't worry about that. The thing here is is just this here. So. We could look at this as being up for wave one and back for wave two and then going up to wave three, but this would be wave one and two and so on. But we need to move past this five waves. That's the, that's the whole thing with it. So I've framed it up from this low here with this trend line and this trend line. And, you know, they, they'll it will show up in some sort of resistance up here, you know, which it is really at this point, um, but it's just really arrived at that. So the trick here is to count it up. So I can count five waves to here as one and two and one and two and three and four, and one, two, three, four, five, the third, fourth here, then one and two, one, two, three, four, five, the third, fourth, and then the fifth wave here. So, um, yeah, so <clears throat> we should be at a top here, really. That's what it's telling me. <clears throat> And this would be one, two, three. So yeah, the other count here, I can put this move here from wave four here up here as one and two and three and four and five and have one more top to come into play. Um, either way, um, I still need this to, I need to finish, you know, this five wave structure up, up here, wherever it's going to go to, you know, I need it to finish in, in line with, the other stocks, you know, the Apples and the Microsofts and that, we need to see that this in all of them before we can, and we need that to be taken out as a long trade at that point. So I'll just be a bit careful going long in this particular market. I can see that, um, you know, there's going to be resistance here. There's, there's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end of all of this. So just be very careful about this one. It's hard to see a bit, it's hard to Push. I could certainly probably push it all up further in in a way, um, 
but I'm kind of satisfied with that. What I mean by that is that when I look at this particular structure and the way that I've counted it, it's got the right look and feel about it. It's got the right perspective. The ratios are right. It feels balanced. Um, the form is good. Um, so I don't think it's going to race off here. Yes, it can move up higher. Normally when something gets into group two here, we'll push up to 80. Um, so, you know, we can do, we can do that. Um, if I was going to go along here, I'll take this trend line here and I'll, I'll treat it like a classic trading levels pattern. So you would need the first high above and then the ABC pattern here. So you'd need to push up and come back and then sit on there. So I think there's better ones to go along on. So Tesla, so um, yeah, I want to talk about, and this is another one that's got, um, uh, we can have a look at this in a bit more detail. It doesn't have five waves to come down here. You might think, well, I could go wave one here, then an A and a B and a C here for wave two, you know, to be a big bearish thing. But at the same time, um, that would have to be in five waves and it's not. Um, that that here is in five waves, so it doesn't give you a B wave at that point. So that doesn't really add up to being a bigger bearish picture uh, here. It's just how this finishes off. And I know markets just generally, you know, uh, you know, it's, they're, they're like human beings. We're all the same, but we're all uniquely different. And with the markets having tops and bottoms, they don't they don't they don't all have a nice easy picture on that front. You know, they can all be a little bit tricky. So. You know, from this wave four here, I can count one, two, three, four, five here. But the problem, there's two problems with that. First of all, it doesn't make a new low, which is not, doesn't really break any earlier rules as long as it has five waves. But even those five waves there has overlap. So wave four overlaps wave one here. So it's kind of like got two boxes that, you know, that I would like to tick, but I can't really tick them. You know, I'd be forcing it if I had to tick them, you know. And then the move up through here, this move up through here, it it doesn't it counts better as a corrective wave up here so i'm thinking do we have an a b c d and e over here should that wave four go over to here because i was looking at this as sort of down for one and back for two down for one and back for two and it still can be that but if it takes out that high here or gets very close to it then that's not going to be the case you know so do we you know put that here and do we put that in there and then we you know be done with it at that point and we've got some leading diagonal uh, leading to the upside here for that. So there's a lot of untick boxes to be bullish just yet with the, with this. So um, so I am struggling with it a little bit to get it right. And I don't like to force things that don't, they don't sort of work. And then counting down here, I've been over this. It's um, this is you know one, two, three, four, five here. We can see that we're on the one k here. Um, I've also been got a count on the two k here that we've had for. A while. The, see, the only, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. The only other way I can see this finishing off here on this on this low here, is by looking at this as a uh, as a W here, an X here, and then a Y here. And in the Y, it would make this an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave down to here. And then that would be okay. Then we could look at this as wave one here. And because we've got overlapping wave structures as one, two, three, four, five here, then, um, you know, we could look at this as being corrective here because it hasn't taken out the low here, but it's pulled way back here. So that's kind of another box that needs, you know, it's not ticked really to a point. But we could look at it as wave one here, you know, and maybe even an A and a B and a C over here for wave two and then pushing off. So we've got to kind of be careful about the whole you know the whole journey all i need is you know into to confirm a trend i just need a few boxes ticked so once again we go to this space here of we can see that we've got wave we could look at that as wave one and two here and then this would be a third wave here isn't it because it's nice and strong and in that third wave we've got one two and that would be the third in the middle and there'll be the fourth and the fifth here so somewhere we're close to the top of the third here we still need the fourth and the fifth to finish it off right so um but once we have those five waves there then we're going to have the abc back and then we can go along from here i mean normally we would look at five waves here and would buy the pullback at the 61.8 percent but because of 
because of what this can be here, and this could be labelled differently, we could put wave four, four, because if this if this moves up here further, I mean, as it stands at the moment, we can call this down for wave one here, uh, or even wave one to this point, or we can go um, wave one here, an A wave, a B wave, and then one, two, three, four, five to the C wave. But if it takes that top out, well, then that negates that count there, and we've got to throw that in the bin. Um, <clears throat> which is okay, but it still doesn't really negate the fact that we could put wave four over here, and that would also line up with, um, you know, Amazon um, and Apple and those sort of stocks as well. So that would make sense. It would make sense in the fact that if that was true, then all of those markets would have five waves down here eventually. So that's what we're sort of looking at at the moment with all of this. So there's nothing I can really say that would give us any confidence in to be doing anything. Of course, the markets are going to push higher, most probably, um, in this five-wave structure here. <clears throat> um, but uh, do we treat that as wave four, or do we treat that as, as wave one here, and then we have wave two to come back? That I, I don't know. So it's going to be quite a you know, a good few weeks before we get over to this side over here. So there's not really going to be any trend trading um, at this point. Um, yeah, so that's that. But what it does do, if this is wave one, it will give us, it will give us longer term trends at that point, um, which is good. Um, so yeah, so that's on the 2k tick, sorry to wander off and all of that, but I've just got to share my thoughts, you know, and then you can kind of judge me on those in different ways. So this is a little bit, this is the five waves I was talking about just here, so it's a bit, little bit tricky, so one and two and three, four, five, so that would go up to that point, and that's my wave four over here for my triangle pattern. Um, as such and we've squared this off here to give us so we could end up up here if we go above this top here then I can negate this wave C of of two here um, and then I could look at wave E of four over here and I could still look at that here as as an A and a B and a C wave for wave four I need to lift it up one degree of structure into blue but um, that's okay at that point um, so there's a few things going on here that and not very helpful, but what I can say, the likelihood of us uh, here as one and two and some sort of three, four, some, we're going to be topping out across this trend line coming through here. So ju just that simple trend line coming through here. So we're going to be going up here for wave three. You're going to see a wave four pullback. And it could go all the way down to there at this point too because of this wave one here and we're taking wave one to here as well. But... Um, it's more likely that we're going to hit the trend line, pull back. It will be a little dance across the, the top of group one, the 730, group one of 700 here. So it can come back to, uh, to the 720 area and then push up into the 765 area here or even further at that point, but something like that. That's likely what it's to do at that point i'm quite i'm quite confident about that actually you know especially when we just had a look at bitcoin and i know that there's not a lot of relationship well there is really even this guy owns um his fair you know more than his fair share of coins um but anyway there we go for uh tesla and um alphabet we're doing the same thing as well we're also looking at this here just to you know, acknowledge mistakes, is that we're also looking at this here as wave one here and coming back for wave two, but taking the top out here, and we probably talked about it. Um, so now I need to look at this as, as wave A here, and A, B, and C here for wave B, which makes sense to me, and then looking at wave C to the upside here. Uh, we had this you know, little, it's earnings spike over here. I think it was earnings or something like that anyway, and it spiked and left a gap here and all that sort of stuff uh, and did make that sort of new high here in that uh, space. So it's possible that um, that we could also call 
wave five in over here as well. Uh, quite simply, really, wave five of C of two here, just based on on putting wave using that as the high, but it doesn't really relate to the rest of the market on the other side of the fence there. But putting wave A here, um, I'll have to go back and see if I made where I've made a mistake, but <clears throat> looking at that as wave five top here, and then an A and a B and a C wave here, and having that low in place here, and this would become wave one here and wave two here, and then going up. Now, I don't also want to get excited because we need to track the five waves up here, and wherever they come to, the same thing applies as well. We'll need to look for that ABC pattern because we'll either take that top out in the, after three swings or we'll push up here uh, and then we'll be pushing down again at this point. So it really becomes a bit of a line in the sand at this, po at this point. This will sort the, the oats from the chaff at this point. But I don't know any other way to do it. I mean, I could, you know, I could say, well, that's the low and this is a third wave and all of that sort of stuff. But I, there's no way that I, you know, you, I, I, I can't, it's not that I, I'm looking at both sides, you know what I mean? And I've got to get rid of one of the sides um, and there will come a point and that point will be over here for when I can do that. Um, I don't want to marry one side and get us into, into strife. So... Uh, now, Microsoft is a much trickier one, and uh, I, I don't really have a, a fair answer for this. I can put it down as, as this is a long shot, as one and two here, and three and four and five here, with this overlap in four and one. So, but labeling that wave A here, then an A into B and a C wave for the B wave, and then and then basically down here, not the spike here, but here for wave one, two three, four, and five for wave C of two and have a low in here. So it's possible, but it's a little bit sort of dodgy. Um, it counts better as a W because of the overlapping wave structures in here and so on and having three waves here and so on and, and uh, an X over here uh, and then a Y over here. But it's just about how you look at working the Y. So I was thinking that I could look at this as the A, the B, and the C here for the for the A wave, and then an A, B, and C wave over here for the B wave coming up here, taking the top out here, just you know, sucking everybody in, and then turning at that point. But it's still the the same law applies that I've been talking about is that I need to wait for five waves to move up here, and then we get the correction at that point and then we can go along on that B wave high here. But in the meantime, we should be there should be some sort of equality between this length and this length here. We were also looking at this, I think, that as wave one here and back for wave two, but it's coming really quite high. It could just stop here and go straight down from that point. Um, we'll go in and uh, have a look at that. But um, just to let you know that this particular picture for Microsoft is, is a trickier one, and it can be counted in, in different ways. I'll just go, I've got 2K tick here. I just want to check what that is. And then the 100. Okay, so this was the ABC, the A wave, the B wave, and one and two and three and four and five. So it's it's possible. Um, it doesn't really give us a nice five waves up here. The only way I can count five waves up here, and this would I'll have to leave you with this too, with wave one here and two here. And then we've got five waves in here and this move here. So it could only be wave one and two and three, four, five at that point. But we're quite close to this old high here. It's going to shy all the way across here for that because, you know, that's, um, we could put that at 270. Uh, normally, you, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. So obviously that's, you know, you can see it's shrugging, shrugging up at this point here. Um, but let's just go to the 100 tick. So look, what I'm, what I'm saying here is that it, with, um, you know, with all the big tech stocks, if we can find that five wave structure and then just wait for the ABC pattern, then we'll know where we are at that at that point. Um, but in the meantime, we may be able to trade long. Let's go to the 100 ticks. It is slowing down a bit, you know, um, which I thought it would do after coming back from holidays. Everybody piles in and and then everybody sees it goes up and they they start FOMOing at the mouth and uh, 
and you know they they get in but you can see you can see that you know as mentioned yesterday these cracks in the pavement here these sharp moves down it's telling us that we're we're at the upper end of this um i'm not quite sure how to count this to the upside here because i could look at this as wave one or a here and then an a <coughs> and a b and a c wave here but i could also count this up here as wave one here and back for wave two here as well so this this is a problem for me this is all okay as one and two here and three and four and then one two three four five for the third wave probably get a fourth wave here it can fail at this point and just drop from here but i doubt i doubt you know as wave one here and two here but i doubt that very much um so it's more likely they could just continue to cruise up there as well but just expect that it could come back to uh here a bit first and then push up here higher so it depends on how we count this here we definitely have to look at it as an a wave uh, as wave one and two uh, in this case and then three and four and five up here at that point i don't know if i can extend it much further but we'll we'll see but anyway we need that top there we need that to finish off and then we need we need to have a nice clear definition of of a um of an abc correction something that can rebalance this trend uh, and then we can look to go long at that point or after three waves we can look to go short under here but we'll find another way in a better way for going short when we get when we get to that point uh what's the name here um berkshire hathaway so looking at this here in uh in in as well as possible to have a low in place but otherwise we need to look at it as an a wave an a b and c for the b wave here and then one two three four five here moving up here higher now obviously there could be another if i put this b wave over here for that um but it does make a nice five waves here but if we put the b wave over here we'd have to look at this as one um up for one an a and a b and a c for two so that would give us another one here so that would give us another another move up here as well after that so i'll need to give that some consideration but i want to put that in line with um it must be eight o'clock oh, 10 a bit close to it yeah platform resetting so we could get two more highs here for this um but the 280 here will give us a nice classic trading levels pattern and we'll see where the rest of the markets are at that point in time okay over to square so i wanted to have a look at square just sort of take a step back and have a bit of a look at it because i i wonder if we do have a low in place first of all there's just using indicators here the volume first we're seeing a move move up here but we're seeing the volume diminish it doesn't mean that it's corrective but it's, pr it's probable that it is so we just need to be careful about that we would want to see <clears throat> would want to see a nice amount of volume come in on this is on a daily chart we're also seeing this here too we're seeing some divergence in the indicators so from this top here we've moved down to this point yep and then this little hump here is probably this hump here but the price it hasn't made a new high above that previous high here but this indicator's pushed way up high here coming up into 80 here just the basic stochastics you know so yeah it's telling me that um to be careful on the on the long side here for for that because we're not getting increased volume and the indicators are screaming to the upside so uh it could top out um it may not even make a new top here so that was the other thing i mean do i look at that as i think because i think we're looking at this as wave one coming down and coming back for wave two but i can see there's too many days here now for a wave two so that means that it's probably some sort of a b and c or we've got the low in place here and we need to go up further you know that's um so we could make a top just above this high here and then roll over a bit like this one here really the a the b and the c here so the a the b and the c here and then roll over so i don't really have a good um you know inkling on this at this point um if i go to <clears throat> so i don't have any answers for this one here just yet on this so this is uh let me just clear this away here i 
I mean, when I count this here from the top here, it's just one, two, three, four, five. I could look at this as an A wave and a B wave here, but <clears throat> it doesn't really sort of add up too much. But because we do have overlapping wave structures here for that. But um, apart from that, this is obviously a nice third wave coming in. Um, but because of that corrective move here, we could go an A, B and C for the A wave and then a B wave and a C wave and have a low in here. But just naturally, it looks better as one, two, three, four, five here for an A wave and then a B wave and a C wave coming down. But that's probably not correct. Um, so, but it just, it, it, you know, it sticks out pretty clearly. Uh, the question is here is that is this one and two here, one, two, three, four, five for the third, fourth, and fifth? And do we, that, that, that would tell me that we've got a low in place here. But as I mentioned, we're not really seeing, we're not seeing, um, any fools uh, or angels rushing in on this one just yet, you know. So, you know, is the low in, you know, would you be prepared to buy it at this point? You know, that's the, um, that's the, the, the thing here at this point. This is the 80 here. The 80 is the one that's going to hold all the, all the resistance at that point because of this and this here. So obviously if we climb above the 80, then we're sort of on our way at that point. Um, but yeah, from that high here to that low here, that's the 50, 60% retracement level, you know, because we could look at this as wave one here back for wave two and then coming down further at this point. So that's, it's, this is a little bit tricky as well to call that low in here. And the, with this, I've just, I've just removed all the counting here because I wanted to take a fresh sort of look at it. I can count this up as five waves here. I could go, not the right degree of structure, but I can go one, two here, and three and four here. I can get five waves up here, and then, um, and that would be one, one, two, three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So. It's kind of interesting that the fifth wave is long. Wave one is very small, and then wave three is four. Three is bigger, much bigger than wave one, and then wave five is much. So to me, it's kind of expanding to the upside. But the thing that bothers me about this is that this move down through here be, can be counted as five waves: one, two, three, four, five. Um, so that sort of bothers me a little bit, you know. But um, this this wants to go higher. I mean, it's made, you know, it's given us a classic trading levels pattern across the 65, which is a medium level. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, um, just really sort of sat squarely on here. I mean, we should have gone long above, should have, would have, could have above here on this one. Um, at this stage here, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four here and going up for five here. So, how do we count this? I mean, also this little move here, that doesn't count as five waves here. So this would be, normally you'd just go the A wave um, or wave one here, then A wave or, or an ABC here for this and then an ABC here for this. It's not really giving us five waves in that move there. So that's a little bit of a bit of an issue. I wonder if this is actually belonging to this side over here. Um, anyway, I'm unsure about this about this move here. I don't think it's going to be going. Uh, it's, it will go higher, but it, it it will struggle a little bit into this old high over here for this. So I don't know. I just got to mull this over a little bit, and I've got to have a look at. Maybe I'll talk to Alessio, see what he's doing with PayPal and uh, Spotify and those ones, see what um see what his count is over at that side. Um, but yeah, I'm not really quite sure about this one at the moment. But you will run into headwinds over here. Um, maybe we could look at it as wave one here and two here and three here and four here and going up for five here. So that's a possibility. So I'll just label that so I'll remember. Um, which is which is good. Um, there's nothing wrong with that particular count. I'm, there may be another little wave one, and so there may be another little high here. But what we do is we just would need to wait for a three wave move back. That's what we would need to, to go long. That's what we would need to do at that point. That's where we would go long. We need to get this trend rebalanced at that point. But at the same time, we need to be mindful that we don't have this as some sort of three wave correction here, and you know we we end up coming uh, further down at that point. So. 
Uh, we'll see about that. Um, Radio over to the banks and what's this one? BAC. Okay, so so here's a question for you. So from the top here, we could look at this as uh, well. We could look at it as an A wave. We could also look at it as wave one. Um, we could look at it as a B wave, and we could look at this as um, uh, uh, it's. Uh, well, <laughs> this is where it gets a bit tricky, really, because, um, uh, I mean, looking at this, you just think that it's going to come down further. You know, that's what I see when I look at this. I mean, I can look at it as wave, um, but even if you looked at it as wave one, two, three, four, and five to here, then, well, we've got that extra move there, haven't we? So you can't label that one, two, three, four, five here because we've got that low in here on that. So that doesn't work. So the A, the B, and then 1 and 2, and 3, 4, and 5. Um, but the fire, the, you know, I suppose, that, I suppose we could do that here and put that in there, but it's a very small 5 fifth wave in here, isn't it? But it has reduced a lot. When you, if you think of wave 3 being that short compared to wave 1, then you want wave 5 to be smaller than wave 3 anyway. So... Is that possible there? I mean, it doesn't look quite right, does it? You know, but if there was going to be a low there, then that would that would be it. You know, I mean, I was thinking that we would look at this here as wave one here coming back for wave two here. That's the way I've been playing it out, and then coming down for wave three. But what happens if it just continues to push up here? Well, then, well. We might have to do that, you know, um, but the same thing applies here. We have to get five waves up here and then get a pullback and then look to go along above the top, you know. So there's a few things that, you know, this is also a little puzzle in, in here as well. Um, it just, you know, to have that as, as a fifth wave here compared to wave one here, you know, I mean, it's diminishing. So it's possible, you know, it's possible. It's either that or, or it's a much bigger bearish pattern coming into play. So uh, we'll, we just got to play with what we can see in here. So we're going to go into 10 ticks where we have been looking at this. So, so yeah, so I was thinking that would be wave four here and we'll go down for wave one and then we'll go back for wave two. And that would be the A, the B, one, two, three, four, five. That's what I've been trying, you know, this is... This is throwing me out a fair bit in, in all here. And I understand that we could put wave five, wave one here over to here. Um, but I just think it's better to have it here on the lows. On average, it's um, it's the right thing to do. On, on average, you'll be right more times than wrong. Um, but yeah, so we just really need this to play out too now, you know. So it's kind of not worth going long at this point you know because even whichever way you want to look at this even if it was bullish we could look at this as wave one and two here then one two three four five then we would all we would have at that point would be if you went long here we'd go be going into here then we'd have this one as wave four as one and two and three and four and five here and then we would have the abc pattern coming into play um and then we'd go long at that point you know over here for that or in this case, we could buy the pullback here because from the low, we'll have five waves, so we can buy it back here anyway. So going long in here could be a bit of an, a bit of a, you know, it, it would just pull on your attention unnecessarily. Um, <clears throat> but that's that's how I sort of see that at this point. So just can't get the teeth into that one just yet. Um, and this is uh, Morgan's here, so. This is a little bit different because uh, on the Bank of America, that was the high. But on this one, this is the high. So it's a little bit different. We could label this in a different way. We could put this here as wave A here, as an A, B and C here for that. And put um, copy that and put this here. And then look at this here as one, two, three, four, five. And we're finished here. We're done and dusted at that point. Sorry. 
we could be down here looking at this as five waves here but it really it looks like we've got five waves over to this point and then we'd be looking at this as one and two here and then moving down and that's what that looks like um but you could probably yeah i mean that's technically there's five waves from here to here but anyway it's the same thing as BAC we just have to wait for, for for this you know so it's possible to have a low in place but I would need to just need to see more on 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 here you know I mean there's <clears throat> there's been a lot of support in the in the market like the supports come in in terms of well we've spent um, when you think about it we've spent um on the low here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, nearly a month here in terms of uh, trading days, 20 trading days in a month. So we've been here on the low here for, for this, for, for a month. So it does give a bit of hope uh, to come, you know, for folks to come in. And there's always the early birds, of course. And with the early birds, you don't really see the volume coming in. So I do understand that too, that comes in when the when the when the when uh, uh, when the mass masses come in and they recognize it you know and what I try to do is I try to recognize it up to that particular point and get in just before the mass on mass um, but yeah I don't have enough boxes to tick to go long here just yet for this and um, we'd certainly need to see um, you know a nice impulse wave to the upside here for this so even don't feel like you're missing out on on this when it moves to to the upside okay because we still need to get that um, we still need to get that ABC pattern back here again before going long again alrighty I better leave it at that that's a long video sorry about that cheers